Hello my dear students, no? so welcome to the third part of our discussion no? for home office and branch accounting. So in this particular video, we shall be discussing how the process no? of combining the financial statements prepared um, by the home office in a branch or combining the separate financial statements of the home office in its branches. So, uh, separate financial statements for the branches should be prepared so that management can evaluate the performance of each branch. Uh, so, to determine if the branch is um, you know, operating at a profit or operating at a loss. Uh, so, um, the branch financial statements may be revised by the home office to include the allocated expenses incurred by the home office. So, if the home office hasn't yet allocated the expenses no, of the uh, incurred by the home office to the branch, no, so credit should be revised the home office. No. Also, the, fin the financial statements of the branch should be revised to eliminate no, intercompany profits uh, on merchandise shipments. So, specifically, if... Uh, uh, give, when there is merchandise shipments from the home office to the branch and the shipment is made above cost so it should all uh, it should be eliminated also and any uh, interest so if for example if yung uh, capital na invest ni home office kay branch is mag earn ng interest that's interest income sa part ni home office tsaka interest expense sa part ni uh, branch uh, that uh, should also be eliminated no, for um, uh, combination purposes no, for the uh, for the combined financial statements. No. So, for investors, the home office and branches are a single business entity. They are one economic entity. So, thus, combined financial statements should be prepared for external users no? and also to be acceptable for general purpose financial statements. No? So, in aid in preparing uh, the, uh, the combined financial statements, so there is a four column worksheet. No? Uh, paper to facilitate the preparation of the combined financial statement. So, in preparing the combined financial statements, the following accounts should be eliminated. All reciprocal ledger accounts, uh, many other investment in home, uh, investment in branch, at saka home office for rent. No? So, but before you, ano, you prepare uh, combined financial statements and to eliminate these reciprocal accounts, no, um, you make it sure that the two uh, the two accounts are equal, meaning to say the investment in branch in the home office books and the home office current account key branch books, no, and that should always equal before uh, you are um, to prepare a combined financial statements. And then also you shall uh, you shall uh, eliminate no any intra company profit or losses also if there are receivables and payables no between the home office and the branches no um that should also be eliminated so so you eliminate natin yung reciprocal accounts any intra company profit or loss no any receivables and payables between the home office and the branches and the rest of the accounts are just summed meaning to say add lang no add lang yung accounts no those those accounts na hindi i-eliminate in a preparation of the combined financial statements so we have we will we'll be discussing um journal entries for operations of a branch no when merchandise is billed at cost of the home office with a per perpetual inventory system so we will be discussing example so but ang assumption the merchandise uh, is billed at cost so we will have a separate discussion in how to account no for both the separate financial statements and up to the treatment in the combined financial statements when the home office build the branch at uh, above cost. Okay, so assume that some Smaldino company builds merchandise to Mason at home office at cost, that Mason branch maintains uh, complete accounting records and prepare financial statements. 
So both the home office and the branch uh, use the perpetual inventory system. So equipment used at the branch is carried in the home office books. No. And then expenses such as advertising and insurance incurred by the home office on behalf of the branch are billed to the branch. We need to say allocate. They allocate the home office or branch to mga expenses. No. Incurred by the home office, but uh, but those expenses were pertaining to the branch. No? Transactions and events during the first year of 2019 of operations of Mason branch are summarized. No? Are summarized. So uh, we shall uh, we shall be men uh, discussing it one by one all these transactions. No, and what will be the journal entry of the uh, of the branch no so first transaction no so cash of one thousand dollars was forwarded by the home office to the Amazon branch okay so this is an asset transferred from the home office to the branch okay so yung entry ni ano entry ni home office debit siya ng investment in Amazon branch credit cash of course si cash uh, si si branch rather no of course, uh, mag-debit siya ng cash credit home office. No? So, take note of the reciprocal account, the investment in branch account kay home office books at saka yung home office current account kay branch books. The second transaction is merchandise with a, with a home office cost of $60,000 was shipped by the home office to Mason, to Mason branch. No? So, yung entry. Um, entry niya um, debit investment in Amazon branch 60,000 for inventories. Okay. Um, bakit inventory? No, kasi um, kasi it's perpetual, no. When we say ano, um, pag periodic, uh, periodic yung assumption, ang account title is shipments uh, to branch. Okay, nitindihan. Since the company is using perpetual inventory system, no. Um, yung account title is inventory credit. Okay? Pag, uh, pag, ano, pag silent, no, she'll be using um, periodic. So, yung, uh, yung account title is shipments to branch. Okay? Then, the branch, no, mag-debit siya ng inventory. So, since perpetual, no, so, ang i-debit niya is Hindi shipments from home office, kundi inventory at 60,000. And take note, it was billed at cost. Okay. Um, the third transaction, so equipment was acquired by Mason Branch for $500 to be carried in the home office uh, accounting records. No? So, okay. Ang um, nag- uh, Ang um, ano ang na purchase si branch but carried daw siya in the home office books. So yung entry, di ba? Yung entry ni home office um siya man yung mag keep ng record so debit equipment Mason branch no and credit investment in Mason branch no. So then kay branch mag debit siya ng home office mag credit siya ng cash. No? Okay. Okay, so we have four transactions. So these are transactions, sample of transactions that are external, meaning to say, transaction ni branch from third parties, no, from other parties. So credit sales by Mason branch amounted to eighty thousand. So the branch cost of the merchandise sold was forty five thousand. And since we are using ano perpetual, so de ba um dalawa yung entry. Ito combined na ito siya. So mag debit siya ng uh, trade account receivable credit sales for 80,000, no? And then, debit siya na cost of goods sold na 45 credit inventories. No? We combine na yung entry. No? So, that's it. So, yung fifth transaction is collection of trade accounts receivable by Amazon branch amounted to 62,000. Again, this is not an inter uh, intercompany transaction. So, transaction niya from other parties. No? So, transactions from other parties are recorded in a normal manner. No? So, debit lang siya ng cash, credit siya ng trade accounts receivable to record. Okay, so another transaction. So, payment for operating expenses by Amazon branch, total 20,000. 
Okay, so uh, another transaction, separate transaction branch. So mag-debit ka ng operating expenses, credit ka ng cash. So next, uh, cash of 37,500 was remitted by Amazon branch to the home office. No? So there uh, there is a transfer no? ng asset uh, uh, kay branch patungo kay home office. No? So yung entry ni branch, debit lang siya ng home office, credit siya ng cash. Kasi remittance ito, no? may outflow ng cash si branch. Then, uh, home office will record this uh, cash debit to the seven five hundred and will decrease the investment account. No, Yun siya. Um, I think this will be the last uh, transaction. Operating expenses incurred by the home office and charged to Amazon branch total three thousand. Okay. Uh, these are uh, um, allocation of expenses from the home office ni branch. No, so. So, entry niya, debit investment in Mason branch, 3,000 credit operating expenses. So, ng expenses na, operating expenses ni home office, ya allocate niya kay branch. So, debit investment, no? Plus additional investment, credit operating expense. Sa side niya branch, of course, so be debiting operating expenses. And then, credit home office. No? Yan. So, um, take note na, no? kasi um, the balance ng investment in branch account uh, and the balance of the home office account should, should be equal if there's no timing differences. No? Kasi um, if my, time, my timing differences, no? so recording between the home office and the branch, no? that's, that's when that time you do reconciliation. No? So, we also have a separate discussion for reconciliation. Okay, so ito siya. These are the ano, these are the um intercompany transactions, no? Uh, between the home office and the branch, no? So ito yung uh, the account ng investment in branch sa books ni home office. And take note, may 26 debit balance siya. So if you also ano um look from the home office accounts sa books ni branch may 26,000 credit so kung si investment in branch may 26,000 debit si branch uh, si home office account sa books ni branch may 26,000 credit you know? thereby um, um, verifying that um, the two accounts are equal you know? so as what I said kanina dapat when you do reconciliation dapat equal yung dalawang accounts Okay. Um, the following the following working paper now for combined financial statement serves three purposes. No? so again, that's to eliminate intercompany profits, to eliminate the reciprocal accounts, and the combined ledger account balances of the home office and the branch. No? so it's your purpose the working paper. Okay, so assume natin na fifteen thousand yung balance no? um ng inventory ni branch so yun siya 15,000 so take note that the shipments were 60 60 yung shipments yung ending balance niya is 15,000 okay so all year end adjusting entry so books the home office na no? okay na and then uh, the working paper begins with the adjusted trial balance of the home office and the Amazon branch no? then income taxes are in uh, Mona are ignored in this illustration. No? So first, no, um, tignan mo na natin yung separate financial statements ni branch, no. So yung cost of goods sold niya is forty five thousand, kasi ati ba yung shipments is sixty, then may ending balance siya na fifteen, therefore forty five yung cost of goods sold niya. So my sales si branch na eighty, cost of goods sold na forty five. Then operating expense of 23. So if you trace, uh, uh, but 23 yan, uh, shall refer to the previous transactions, no? But taking 23,000 yung, um, expenses. No? It's the 20,000 payment of operating expenses, then yung 3,000 na allocate ni home office right now. That's the 23. So my net income C. Uh, branch na uh, 25,000 at uh, sorry 
uh, 12,000. That's 35,000 plus 23,000. Okay, and then yung balance sheet niya, so the remaining cash is 5, accounts receivable is 18, inventory is 15, then wala siyang liability, so uh, ano lang, um, home, um, home office or yung equity account niya. So, take note no, that assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. So, if ano siya, if, if walang liabilities, then yung assets equal lang kay home office account no? being the equity account niya, yun siya. Okay. So, we shall be uh, assuming, no, the, the, the accounts of the home office, no. So, since wala man tayong, uh, wala tayong, ano, um, intercompany accounts, then wala din shipments to ship shipments from kasi, ano, um, perpetual man tayo. Pero, pero if hindi siya perpetual, eh, yung periodic, eh, eliminate mo talaga sa shipments to and shipments from. But this is perpetual. No? Na credit, uh, na, na deduct na siya, yung inventory na deduct na sa books ni home office. No? Then na kay branch na. No? So, you just have to combine no? the two accounts. No? So, yung sales ni home office na 400 400,000 plus sales ni branch na 80. Uh, this should be 480. No, this should be 480. And then, what else? Cost of goods sold na 235 and 45, that's 280,000. Giving you in uh, um, 280,000. Then, yung operating expenses natin, 90. Then, 23,113,000. Na so, yung net income mo, that's 87,000. Okay, for the statement of retained earnings, no? um, take note na walang retained earnings si, uh, si Branch. Kasi um, yung, ka, yung income niya gina-close sa home office, diba? So, may retained earnings beginning sa January si, si home office, no? 70,000. Then, yung net income is 87,000. Walang, uh, walang uh, eliminating entries ito kasi nga walang intercompany profits. So, um, 70, this 80, 87,000, no? Then, less dividends declared. So, retained earnings na 117,000. That's 70,000 plus 87 minus 40. So, you have 117,000 117, as our um, uh, retained earnings and combined. Okay. Then, 87,000 naman din, di ba, yung combined natin na um, net income. Okay. So, as to balance sheet, um, ang i-eliminate lang man natin dito is yung investment and branch, no? um, at saka yung home office. So, all other accounts, i-add mo lang. Let's say, for example, for the cash, that's 25 plus 5, 30. 39 plus 18 for AR for trade accounts receivable that's 57,000. Yung inventory is natin 45 plus 15 60,000. Tsaka eliminate mo yung investment in branch. No? That's uh, how to eliminate of course. A credit siya ng 26,000. So sa combined wala na siya. Hindi na siya mag-appear. Then yung equipment natin 150 then accumulated 10. Then yun lang siya. Um, next accounts, no? Trade accounts payable. Wala mga accounts payable si branch. So, that's yan. Then, yung home office, no? Na 26,000, i-debit. No? I-debit siya to eliminate. Kung ang nag-offset, uh, ang nag-offset is yung, um, yung entry, uh, parang eliminating entry mo is debit home office for that investment. No? Ang mga 26. So, pag combine, wala na yung home office at investment. In common stock, uh, that's 150,000. Yung 10 per par. No? And then, yung retained earnings, 117,000. So, take note, ang eliminate lang natin is yung investment in uh, branch account at yung home office account. Yun yung yung eliminate natin. As to preparation of the combined financial statements, no? so we have uh, sales, cost of goods sold, 
gross margin on sales 200,000 operating expenses of 200,000 and net income 87,000 so actually uh, yun lang din naman yun na sa uh, working paper natin di ba yung working paper natin yung 87,000 na uh, yung combined portion yun yung prepare uh, combined financial statement yung combined portion lang yung tingnan nyo no? about 87,000 yung net income niya. So, when you prepare, combine, yun na siya. No? And then, what else? Um, the, uh, save it of retained earnings, no? The, the, ano, uh, uh, retained earnings beginning, then you add net income. Net income is the combined net income already. Then, less dividends, no? Credit retained earnings and 217,000. Still, no? So, yung combined balance sheet natin, uh, combined balance sheet. So, tingnan mo lang ang um, combined combined figures, no? no? So, for example, cash, accounts receivable, inventory. So, when you prepare combined balance sheet, yan. Mag-refer ka lang sa working paper mo. No? That's 30. Then, take note, wala na yung investment and branch account. No? Wala. So, that's Assets, lahat ng assets except for the investment and branch. Kasi, na-eliminate na siya. Yan. And then, yung next, no? Yung ano mo? Yung liabilities and equity. Take note, wala dyan yung home office. Eliminate na. No? So, therefore, yung assets natin, uh, tsaka yung total liabilities and equity amount, uh, amounts to 287,000. Yan Okay, so, as to closing entries, no? Uh, so, uh, we have assumed that um, not, uh, na close na siya sa home office. So, to close the um, in uh, the account of the branches, of course, and debit na yung sales para na close. Credit expense account plus good sold operating expenses. So, the balance should be, it, kasi yung net income ng branch is 12,000, di ba, na credit, uh, na uh, yung net income is 12,000. So, dapat yung income sa mga rin uh, 12,000 na uh, credit. Then, to close that one, di ba, yung income sa Marina branch, i-close mo sa capital account, which is the home office account. So, debit siya ng income sa Marina, no, 12,000, credit sa home office for 12,000. Okay, so, yun siya. And then, what else? Um, your investment in Mason branch, no, shall be increased by the 12,000 net income. Also, the ano, invest, uh, income ni branch na 12,000. Then, yung income ni branch na temporary account shall be closed then to um, income summary account. Okay. Yun na siya. No? That's the combined uh, preparation of the combined net income. So, actually, madali lang ito kasi wala pang intercompany transaction. So, pag may intercompany transactions na medyo um medyo may difference na no or may, uh in uh preparation uh in preparation of combined financial statement so yan siya so uh we'll end here uh we'll have another discussion particularly two remaining na lang yung discuss ko two videos one is for the reconciliation how to uh, how to do reconciliation and yung um, shipments of uh, brand, uh, home office with a branch at above cost. So, thank you.